Welcome, everybody, to the end of the year sports spectacular here at the Bakersfield, California, and TBC Media. I'm sports editor Zach Ewing. We have our top five stories of 2015 for you. A couple of honorable mentions. Number one wrestling team in the nation, Penn State, was here with its coach, former four-time NCAA champ Kale Sanderson, came to wrestle CSUB. That was an historic moment for the Roadrunners. And another CSUB one, Tiona Outland and Badabe Zempare, women's basketball. Outland sets the all-time points record at CSUB. Zempare, the all-time rebounding career record. CSUB, BC also named new athletic directors, Kenneth Ziggy Siegfried for CSUB and Sandy Taylor, the first female athletic director in BC Renegades athletic history. Now for your top five. At number five, not such a good one for the BC Renegades. The worst Renegades football season since World War II, possibly ever, depending on what metric you want to use. They were 2-8. and eight. At one point, they were 1-7. and seven. They were never in many of these games. A very proud program falling on very rough times in 2015. Number four, the local boys look good again. Derek Carr in the midst of a great sophomore season for the Oakland Raiders. He has become one of the NFL's bright young stars. Cody Kessler finished up a very good career at USC, where he will finish it up in the Holiday Bowl for the second straight year on December the 30th. Kessler became one of USC's top five all-time passers, and he will enter the NFL draft in 2016. Our number three story in 2015. How about the Bakersfield Condors moving from the ECHL to the American Hockey League? Now just one step below the NHL. They get a lot of good players in at Robobank Arena. A lot you will see playing with the Edmonton Oilers of the NHL. The Condors also introduce a new logo, new uniform, new colors, all tied into that affiliation with the Edmonton Oilers. So that was exciting stuff. Number two, how about those Roadrunners? CSUB Baseball wins the WAC tournament. Listen to this. They are down 4-1 in the WAC championship game against Seattle University. They beat the Red Hawks 5-4 in that game in the Phoenix area. Move on to the first NCAA regional in school history. First Division I victory in school history in a postseason game came in the consolation game against Ole Miss at that UCLA regional. Gave the Roadrunners another shot at the Bruins. Really exciting stuff, a great run for CSUB. It did end in that regional, uh, but really put the Roadrunners on the map. And our number one story in 2015, the passing of Frank Gifford. It's a sad one. On August 9th, Bakersfield lost perhaps its greatest sports legend in Frank Gifford. He had moved to New York. He had become a famous football quarterback for both USC and for the New York Giants. He became a famous broadcaster for Monday Night Football. He married Kathy Lee Gifford. He was a very famous person who never forgot where he came from, and that was Bakersfield. That's our number one story for 2015. That's our top five stories of 2015. For TBC Media and the Bakersfield, California, I'm sports editor Zach Ewing.